Hey guys, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to get the best signal out of your T-Mobile home internet router as well as how to find out which tower you're on. So that it's important to know which tower you're on so you can place this device. So on top of it, there are some bars that show you, um, you know, one through five, but that's not enough information for you to figure out what tower you're getting onto and how to get um, the best position. So let me walk you through how to do that. All right, so the first thing that you have to do is you wanna to go to your home internet uh, you know, T-Mobile app. So this is different than their T-Mobile uh, main app. So you click on that T-Mobile home internet and obviously for that you need to be connected to um, your gateway itself. Now I'm not connected directly to my gateway actually. I'm actually connected through my Asus AI mesh system and then um, that Asus router is then hooked in with Ethernet to this gateway. So I'm actually not on this Wi-Fi. I'm indirectly uh, onto the ethernet. But so in here, there is, in the bottom right, there's a more option. And then you can go to cell tower metrics. Now the cell tower metrics tell you, um, you know, not only your signal quality and signal strength, um, and really the main one for your signal strength is this RSRP. And, you know, there's a couple confusing things here. And one is that this app, at least right now, it only shows you the primary signal. The primary is your 4G LTE. Your 5G, if you have it, is your secondary signal, at least if it's the, the mid-band stuff like the N71, N41. Um, it's not um, the standalone 5G. So anyways, this RSRP of minus 115 is not very good, and this is not the best place for me to put it, actually put it up there on top of my printer but um, this tells you that as well as the other important one to look at is the SINR and that's your signal to noise ratio so that's that's kind of um, you know how much interference um, there is with that signal so I'll, I'll put up on the screen right here a chart that shows you how um, to know what numbers are good and which ones are bad uh, bigger numbers are better, uh, which not all that we know. And so the RSRP, it's a negative number, so a less negative, so closer to zero uh, so is better. Um, that's still a bigger number, even though it's a smaller, <laughs> it's a smaller numerical value, but it's less negative. So um, in the signal to noise, same thing, a bigger number is better. A, a bad signal to noise is when it gets close to zero or gets negative. The next thing it tells you on here is your band. Uh, so I'm on B2 right now. Sometimes I go to B66, and those are just different um, bands that are out there. Um, and then your band W, that's your bandwidth. So this is a 20 um, meg uh, bandwidth, which is good. Some of them might be 5, 15, or even less. Um, but so now to find out your tower, you want to look at this CGI number. So this CGI number is... Um, a breakdown of so the 310 and the 260 kind of tell you your region and your carrier um, and so 310 260 is T-Mobile um, carrier and then this 589 4157 so the last uh, in my case seven digits is my cell ID so that's my cell identifier for um, cells on a tower so a single tower can have multiple cells. In fact, I think they always have multiple cells, and that's because they basically have different um, antennas, which are these cells that are pointed out, you know, um, all around the tower to, to capture different directions. So you can use that to then, you need to write that down or, or know what that is, to then look that up. Um, and now there's a, there is an app, and I, I use the website, but it's a cell mapper Dot net is the website and I'll go there in a second to show you how you then take that number and find out what tower you're on. But uh, the thing to know if you have a non-standalone 5G signal which is mostly what T-Mobile is using for 5G that means you need to be connected to a 4G and it's on the same tower. So um, this number here is just the 4G but it also is going to be the same tower 
um, for your 5G. So that will help you with that. So um, what you want to do then, as far as moving it around, um, and I'll talk about this first, and then I'll go on to the uh, the cell mapper site. But if you were to look just right here, um, you know this is two bars. Sometimes I get three bars if I hold it sideways. I think sometimes it's a little bit better right here. It'll sometimes go to three bars, but if I move it up, um, and so this auto refreshes um, every few seconds, but if I um, if I pull it down, it'll also force a refresh. So if I move this back up where I think it gets the best signal, get my cables back where they go. And it also matters even the orientation. So um, rotating it this way, and then some people actually find putting it on its side uh, gives them a better signal so you can kind of play with it but so here I just moved it up there and if I look at my signal strength um, you know the RSRP didn't really change still the minus 113 the signal to noise got a little bit better and then I can rotate it and I'll refresh it again and you can see my signal to noise actually got slightly better now these are small numbers obviously small changes and now I wouldn't expect a, a crazy amount of change, but this is also changing my, my 5G signal. And I'll show you that on the web uh, user interface. You can also look at the secondary um, signal for these values. But so you play with those until you get the, um, the best signal quality there, but what might help you, and so here, now you can see it's 112 and 7.3. So that's kind of like, my best orientation and that can make a significant change in your speeds actually even though it might stay at two bars or three bars um, and you know so if you're just looking at that that bar that's not good enough so let's now hop on to the um, cell mapper website you can also use their app on your phone and if you use their app on your phone and you have t-mobile then obviously that is a good indicator and it's going to show you where your where the tower is that your cell phone is connected to it, it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same one that your um, um your gateway is going to connect to but you could compare the the um the cell id numbers between your phone and the gateway and confirm that i don't have a t-mobile cell phone so i don't have a way to tell us you know this is a verizon phone so if i use a cell mapper app it's only looking at verizon towers uh, for me so let's hop on to the website now and i'll show you cell mapper and then also the um the way to look at the 5g signal quality on the um the t-mobile gateway web ue so now i just went to cellmapper.net and it already remembered my um my selection so i'll have to um you have to forgive me there but basically you pick in your your provider it is a bit confusing so the trick is to type in um, 310 and then that will show up um, for what you want to so sprint is another one that you might want to look at depending on your location uh, because t-mobile obviously took over sprint tower so if you either know you're on sprint so something like n41 that's a sprint band so you know that that would be a Sprint Tower, at least listed here. But so I'm gonna go to T-Mobile. And the other thing I noticed is a lot of their 5G stuff isn't uh, updated, it's not correct since T-Mobile is rolling out 5G um, right now in the middle of it. Cell Mapper hasn't uh, been correct for me in that like there's no 5G around me, but I know I'm connected to it. So I actually stay on the 4G LTE uh, for the network. I, I wish it would let me um, pick all of them, but it doesn't. And then, so let me zoom in closer to where I'm at. And I can see some of the towers that are around me. And um, so this is where it's it's not ideal because now if I click on towers around me, so let me just pick on this one. If I click that, this now tells me, you know, you can see the 310, 260 and it tells you what bands it has. And we know that I just saw that I'm on band two. So, you know, that's obviously one of these bands. And then on here, the shading tells you which direction those cells are pointed. Um, and that's, don't trust that um, because I'm actually not inside one of these colored areas. 
that doesn't mean that you don't get signal from it. So now the tricky part is gotta remember my last seven digits of my CGI number was that five, eight, nine, four, one, five, seven, I think is what it is. Well, cell one doesn't match that, right? It's, it's the same, it's the correct first uh, four numbers. But so I just keep scrolling down. Now, obviously you can type in um, like control F on your, uh, um, your Chrome browser or Internet Explorer or whatever you use and you can type in your number and see if you find it so on this one it's actually cell 13 is my um, cell ID that you know my T-Mobile app showed so that then confirms that this is what I'm on and it will give you some more information like the maximum signal strength that is just what cell mapper uh, has detected uh, from people driving by with their phone and then um, it tells you you know when the last time it was seen and so for example the last time it says it was seen was March 3rd so that was 12 days ago and you know cell mapper relies on people using their phone using the app and allowing um, cell mapper to record your signal quality as you drive around so if you have a T-Mobile cell phone the best thing for you to do is to get the cell mapper app or you know there are other apps that do it as well but um, and then leave it on for a few days uh, and drive around or even have it at home and it will automatically pick up and find these new towers and it'll update the website for everyone so that then confirms your cell tower so now you can tell at least which direction your towers at. now you can be connected to the to the others I've, I've actually when I started I was connected up to this one because they were doing maintenance on my um, my closest tower and so I could confirm that I was up there so I could put my device in a different part of my house with a window facing that way or if it was you know trees in the way or whatever it is so that's how you can place it now once you do that here is the web interface for the gateway so for this one you type in 192.168.12.1 and this is the screen that you'll get when you log in. And then right here on primary and secondary signals, this is telling you your signal quality. So this is that RSRP again, and then the signal to noise ratio, which on, on here it's it's SNR, not SINR. Um, but those are kind of the main two ones I look at um, to tell how I'm doing. And what I notice is that as I move my device around or rotate it, I can get different um, trade-offs actually between the 4G and 5G and so this position I have gives me my best 5G signal which I care about more than my 4G because the 5G is my download so that's how I check it so when I was placing this thing around my house I was using the web user interface and, and you can log in to the web interface as well on your phone don't use the app um, the downside is you can't get the CGI number or you know your cell identifier number from the web user interface so it's really kind of a pain because you have to use your phone for part of it and then use um, the the web interface for the other part so use this keep the device plugged in with power either with a battery backup or an extension cord so you can move it all around and find the best place it to go for those that don't know even though it has a battery in sight you can't unplug it and um, and still get access to it because it turns off all the Wi-Fi and Ethernet ports. So you, you have to have it powered in uh, as you move it around. Once you do that, that tells you what, um, what your best signal quality is. Now, if you go down to status tab and then you go in here to the, um, the signal, this now tells you what bands you're on. Um, and this is the only way you can tell what band you're on for 5G. So 5G right here, obviously secondary signal, it tells me N71. So that lets me know that uh, I'm on the N71 um, band for 5G. Here's T-Mobile's own um, description. It's on their um, you know coverage information. If you scroll down, they have their network frequencies and technology and um, so this tells you, you know, that your N71 is a 600 megahertz band, 
which means that it doesn't have as much capacity as like the N41, the Sprint band with um, a 2.5 gigahertz. So that's a you know faster uh, frequency can carry more data, but the problem is that it doesn't travel as far. It doesn't penetrate um, trees and buildings as well. So 600 is kind of like the rural area blankets, you know, miles of space. And then as you get higher frequency, those are faster um, speed, you know, faster um, capacity, but they don't travel as far. And then you can see some of their um, extended range 4G LTE, which is like this band 12. So at least for me, when I was on B12, it's the worst speed uh, by far. Some other people have some good um, experience with it, but it certainly um, has been bad for most people that I see. So typically, um, I like I said, I've been on band two or band 66. Both of those are kind of a mid-frequency um, spectrum and um, they give you decent speed. So you can also play around with that. Sometimes the gateway will connect to a bad band that gives you poor speed. Uh, for example, band 12 might have a much stronger signal, you know, so you might have more bars, but the speed's worse. So you're actually better off having less bars on a band two or band 66 or band four, and um, you'll have faster speed. So you can move it around. So if you see, you know, that there are different towers or even different locations in your house, you can move it around until you get the best band, uh, so you get the best speed out there. And you know the way you can test is just go to like uh, speedtest.net or fast.com or any other um, speed uh, testing service that uh, that you like, and you can check your speeds and, and know that it will vary throughout the day. So um, you know you'll have to play with it for a while. But that's what I've done, and that's how I've uh, found the best place for me. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys out with, um, with finding it for you. If you have any other questions, write them in the comments below. And then, you know, also if you have um, other videos that you want me to do, feel free to ask them. It doesn't hurt to ask. I'm not saying I'll, I'll be able to get to all of them, but most of my videos on this T-Mobile stuff have come from you guys uh, watching and then asking more questions. And uh, the best way for me to answer them is make a video so everyone can learn from it um, versus just a, uh, a reply to the comment. So thanks guys.